Okay, so I'm going to show you how to find the quality score for your keywords inside Google AdWords. And there's two things I'm going to show you here today. When you first log in, you'll be on your campaign tab. What you want to do is you want to come over to your keywords tab, click on that, and you'll see your keyword dashboard here. If you notice in the columns here, quality score isn't one of the available columns and for some reason Google does not include quality score as a default column so you're gonna have to add it manually. What you want to do is go up to columns, click on columns, click on attributes and if you come down you'll see quality score is an available attribute. So you're gonna click on that, you're gonna add it to your dashboard there and you're gonna click apply. And now you can see that quality score is now a column inside your dashboard here. So we're going to take a look at this keyword here. This one has a quality score of 10. And I'm going to show you now how to analyze your quality score and how to know where you need to make improvements. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to this status column here. And if you look at this little message quote bubble here thing, you're just going to hover over it and you're going to get a little pop up. And if you look down at the bottom half of the box there, uh, number one, it tells you if your keyword is running or not. This keyword is not currently running. But if you look down at the bottom, you're gonna see quality score. And you're gonna see three things here. Expected click-through rate, ad relevance, and the landing page experience. So since this score, quality score for this keyword is 10, it's above average in all three, so that's terrific. You can't get any higher than that. So we know this is a good keyword, a good ad, good click-through rate, and everything's good to go and we're getting probably the best price we possibly can for this keyword okay let's scroll down a little bit and let's grab a keyword that isn't ranking as high so let's grab a six here so this keyword is a six let's hover over that and see what's going on as you can see here this keyword is expected click-through rate is average Ad relevancy is below average, and landing page experience is above average. So landing page is okay. We're okay on that. Expected click-through rate is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. As you can see that it's in green there. So that's okay for now. What's really dragging down this keyword is the ad relevance. So what that tells me is that I need to look at this keyword and the associated ads that are running for it because Google's telling me that this keyword probably isn't that great for the ad that you're running and I should probably look at taking this keyword and creating a new ad for it, a more focused and dedicated ad for it and that should be able to fix that ad relevance problem that we have where it's below average and at least bring that up to average. So this column, like I said, this status column is where you're going to be able to analyze your keywords here and take a look and you see same thing ad relevance is below average so what that's going to tell me is that we need to analyze these keywords and probably create new ad sets probably move these keywords over to a new ad group or a new campaign and create dedicated ads for these keywords so those are the two places that you're going to find your quality score you're going to create your own column here and you're also going to find it underneath the status column okay so that's about it. If you want to learn some more, you can go to 3bugmedia.com and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Thank you very much and have a good day.